In this video, I'll be showing you on how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch on the iOS 4 firmware using Red Snow. So first off, this jailbreak only works for two devices, and those devices are the iPod Touch 2G MB model and the iPhone 3G. It does not work for the MC model of the iPod Touch, nor does it work for any other iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad device. Second, if you need to hacktivate your iPhone 3G, you can use Red Snow if needed. And lastly, iOS 4 comes with three awesome features, but Apple made it so they're only available on the newest devices, which is the 3GS, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, and the iPhone 4. So they're not available on the iPod Touch 2G or iPhone 3G. But if you use Red Snow to jailbreak your device, you can enable those three features, which without jailbreaking, you normally can't, unless you had the newest device. And those three features are multitasking, which is a huge one, home screen backgrounds, and the battery percentage. So now we got that out of the way, let's move on to the actual tutorial. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to this website, and the link will be down in the description right below this video. And you scroll way down to the bottom, and you should see something in the lower left hand corner. It's called download links. And you want to click whichever operating system you have. So I'll select Windows, and it should bring you to this website you want to click here to download your attachment and you will need a program to open up zip files so basically you download the zip file open it up and there will be a folder you double click that folder and the red snow program should be at the very bottom so drag the red snow program once you've downloaded it onto your desktop so once you have the red snow program on your desktop as you can see I'm highlighting it on my desktop right now you can move on to the next step which is finding the 4.0 firmware that you use to update your device. So if you used iTunes to update your device, then the 4.0 firmware will be somewhere on your computer. So you can either do a search on a Mac or you can go to My Computer in Windows and you can do a fast, simple search of it. And you should be able to find it. Once you find it, drag it onto your desktop. So as you can see right now, I have both of them right on my desktop. I have the 4.0 firmware file and I have Red Snow. So once you have both of those files on your desktop, you can move on to the next step, which is simply opening up Red Snow. And as you can see, it looks like that. And you want to click Browse. And then you want to find the 4.0 file, which should be on your desktop, well, the 4.0 um, firmware. So select it and click Open. It should say Processing Firmware. And it will ask you if you have an MC model, and of course this jailbreak does not work for the MC model, so you want to click No. And then you want to click Next. And it will do a few things. And as you can see, there are here are all the things you can select. You can select to install Cydia, and I would recommend not doing Verboost Boot or Custom Boot Logo or Custom Recovery Logo, but I would definitely um, recommend selecting enable multitasking, home screen wallpaper, and battery percentage. Alright, so once you have those uh, checked, you can click next. So now we're going to have to do something with our, with our device. So I'm going to show you my iPod Touch. And just to clarify, I'll show you that I am running the iOS 4 firmware. So I'll go to settings, general, about. And as you can see, I am running the 4.0 firmware right there. So, first thing you're going to have to do is plug in your device. So, plug in your device right now to the computer. Once it's plugged in, hold down the power button and simply turn it off. So, once your device is turned off, so you can't do it in reverse order. You can't turn off your device and plug it in because then it will have to boot back up. So, you want to plug it in first and then turn it off. Once you've done that, you want to click Next on the Red Snow program. So follow the steps exactly as I do it. So I'll hold down the power button for three seconds. And then press the home button, but leave the power button down for 10 seconds. And then after 10 seconds, let go of the power button and leave down the home button. And Red Snow should recognize your device. As you can see, it says waiting for reboot. And it's performing initial exploit. And it should say a few things on Red Snow. I'm just saying them to you. 
and it's waiting for reboot again. Now it's uploading the RAM disk. And on your device it should say downloading jailbreak data. And remember, while doing this, do not unplug your device. Once again, while this is happening, do not unplug your device. So now it is uploading the kernel, and now it's going to be rebooting. And so it says done on Red Snow. So you can click finish. And Red Snow should exit out. So now we're just going to focus on my iPod Touch. And I'll take the time now to please thumbs up this video, leave a comment, and also subscribe. So I'll come back when it's almost done. Alright, so then your device should reboot and the Apple logo should come up. And I'll also say this also, I'm um, sorry, I'll also say this now. If your device gets stuck while saying downloading jailbreak data or when the pineapple was up, then you can always restore your device. And by doing that, you can put it into DFU mode and then restore on iTunes. So I just want to say that now because one time it hap sometimes it happens to me and I have to. Just by doing a simple restore, you can totally fix the problem. So as you can see, here's my iPod Touch, the 4.0 firmware, and there's Cydia. And as you can see, before I did this video, the background was black, but now, since I enabled that feature in Red Snow, I have a custom background on the back. And just to show you that multitasking works, I'll open up the settings application. I'll open up weather. I'll open up notes. And I'll double tap the home button. And as you can see, there's the multitasking feature. And then the battery percentage can be enabled in the settings application too. So thanks for watching guys. Once again, if the video worked for you or you just liked it, please thumbs up, leave a comment, and also subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you all later.